and this is about the um, the nature of work in this country and how 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 such low pay has become normalised in this country that you have people working at Foyle Hospital who can't afford formula milk for their children. Um, and this is about, as Mary said, it's about racial justice and it's about equality. And within the NHS, and actually, you know, wider, wider society as well, but we see this, you know, it's quite stark within the NHS that it is predominantly um, racialised minorities, um, migrant workers and working class workers who are disproportionately on these low pay, insecure and precarious work. And thirdly, this is about our public, our public services, not just the NHS, but, but all public services that are being undermined and being degraded by this continued drive towards outsourcing. Um, so I'll finish there, but I think, you know, I think we do, we have to unleash that collective power that we have within the NHS workers. And, I, and you know, we at Hayward Republic, we're completely behind you in, in all these battles. And I think, um, you know, NHS unionisation has power and has su such power for change in this country. And I think there is such potential here for us to absolutely unleashed. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to go to our next speaker, who is Loretta.